Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. We're heard right here on the Impact Lounge. So as we all have heard by now, the rascals, Trey, Dez, and Wentz, are all leaving Impact Wrestling. Yep, they announced it on the show last night. Uh, the storyline is going that they've been evicted from the treehouse. So they are, because they're evicted from the treehouse, they're leaving Impact Wrestling. And next week, they're going to have a final match in which um, Trey is going to team with uh, the world champion Rich Swan against Dez and Wentz. Uh, so that will be the final match for the rascals and i initially thought that this was a storyline i was thinking that it's odd that they're announcing on the show a pre-recorded show uh that they're leaving impact wrestling i thought it was odd that josh matthews announced well it looks like the rascals are leaving impact wrestling i thought it was odd that during this pandemic that we're going through and there's not much wrestling going on in terms of independent wrestling uh, that if they don't have a deal with another promotion, why would they just walk away from a guaranteed paycheck by leaving a top promotion such as Impact Wrestling when, again, there aren't too many independent shows going on right now and without a deal from another company such as Ring of Honor AEW, MLW, or WWE. I thought it was odd. Why would they do that? I thought it was odd that uh, that Rich Swan would be involved in their last match. I thought maybe they will turn on Rich Swan, or they'll have the one match and at at Hard to Kill, uh, the pay per view coming up, that uh, they will turn on Rich Swan, causing him the title on whoever. Rich one is facing. I thought uh, maybe that the Rascal's name was disappearing from Impact Wrestling, but Trey Miguel, Dez, and Zachary Wentz were staying with Impact Wrestling, but unfortunately, I was wrong on all counts. Unfortunately, I was wrong with all counts because I just read a report that they have a standing offer with the WWE and they will be signing a contract with the WWE according to Wrestling Inc. Uh, just read that report now. So looks like they have a standing offer. So it all makes sense now. Uh, they're leaving Impact Wrestling, going to the WWE. It's unfortunate. You know, I'm a big fan of the Rascals. Very, very talented. And um, But uh, I guess they. Uh, it's time to move on. I'm sure they got a great offer from the WWE and um, moving on to bigger, better things. So I wish the Rascals a lot of luck and I, uh, I appreciate everything that they've done in Impact Wrestling. That said, that said, now is the time. Now is the time, the opportunity for Impact Wrestling to stop the bullcrap. Okay, stop the bullcrap when it comes to new talent now is the time for them to say okay we've just lost three young very talented wrestlers it's time to replace them it's time to bring in the new talents because bringing swoggle in is not going to be a suitable replacement for the loss of the rascals you know they're they're not going to counteract each other so the rascals are leaving fine but now the door is so Super wide open for Impact Wrestling to stop bringing in new young talent for the Impact Wrestling fans. They should jump on Lee Moriarty. They should sign Aiden Prince. They should look at Trey Lamar. They should go after the besties in the world. Uh, that tag team, fantastic tag team. Time to look at the Tabernacle Team, another great tag team, TDT, up here in Canada. And Kevin Blackwood, Daniel Garcia, recently on AEW, they're available. Offer them contracts. Go after them. Bring them on. And don't stick them on Explosion. Put them on the main show. If you're going to get some new talent, 
Again, don't stick them on Explosion where hardly anybody sees it. Put them on the main show. They need to start doing that. They need to go on a worldwide search for new talent that's going to bring eyeballs to Impact Wrestling. That's going to bring interest to Impact Wrestling. They need to do that, and they need to start doing that right now. No more waiting. They need to start doing that right now. Okay, I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. This has been just a short edition of Shooting Up North. I'll be back later on this week uh, with my regular version or on the weekend, most likely, with my regular version of Shooting Up North. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.